Today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to organize all your scraps, even the tiny ones, and then you will never ever throw away another scrap of fabric ever again. Here are some of my scraps. Yeah, I think we have enough for what I want to do. I'll actually be making a 10 by 10 inch square, something like that, you know, maybe a little bit less because of the seam allowances. It really just depends on like the types of projects you usually do, you know, the size of the scraps you have, and of course the size of the fabric you need. For me, you know, a 10 by 10 panel is quite versatile. You know, I can chop it however I want, to make smaller squares, but the important part is all my leftover fabric is sewn together waiting to be used. Uh, you know, I just thought of something. I'm going to guide myself uh, from this fabric to bring all the colors or most of colors that relate to these colors over here and that will look pretty good. It kind of feels like we're doing uh, with picking fabrics for a quilt and we are because this will get used, just not right now. <laughs> And at the same time, you can pretty much empty your whole fabric scrap. This is 16 squares that I've just cut, three inches. Let's organize them like we would, uh, you know, a regular quilt. If I do nothing else with these squares, I can totally see myself just sewing them all together into a really large quilt and I think that will look so original and so awesome. And you know, each time I look at it, I will remember all the projects these crabs came from. I mean, how perfect is that? <laughs> but anyway, let's just stream all these pieces into the squares I need for my big scrappy square. Now this time I will not be using any backing fabric like I did for the jelly roll because these are, you know, quite larger pieces and they are squares. So you don't really have any odd shapes to add, so you don't really require that support. Yeah, I think I'm happy with this. There's really no easy way to sew leftover fabric. Nothing actually works. There are all kinds of shapes and sizes and colors and you have no idea what you'll do with them. So when the time comes to pick fabric from your stash, you just spend way too much time going through it and just end up giving up. What I find does work as far as actually putting your scraps to good use is to sew them all together. Let's see if I can remember the sequence. Not sure I can actually. I think so. Maybe. Okay. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep sewing. This is actually a lot of fun. It brings me back to when I first started sewing and I would practice all the time to try and get those squares really, really uh, in place. You don't need to make the same size I'm making. I make three inch uh, squares because uh, for me, I know that's the size I use the most for my projects. But if you happen to use, you know, larger squares, smaller squares, then just do that. Now we are going to sew our rows together. Why do we nest our seams? To stop them from bulking, of course. If we had both seams on the same side, this would be a lot bulkier than doing it like this, right? Like this, they nest just fine and there is no bulk. That's why we do it. And here we go. You can create some themed squares like Christmas, light colors, dark colors, whatever you think you'll need. And of course, you can do pretty much whatever you want to do with these, okay? Quilt tops, of course, but also clothes, table runners, tablecloths, bags, you know, anything you do squares for, you can use for this one. You just won't have as much trouble sorting out the fabric because that part will be done. Before we move on, let me just tell you about some other ways that I use to sew my scrap pile uh, fabric together. I have done a jelly roll, don't know if you've watched that video, that was really fun to make. I just got, you know, really tiny scraps, sewed them all together in a ribbon or a strip ready to be used at any time and then I have loads and loads of half square triangles these are probably what I have the most so many projects end up with some leftover half square triangles right essentially I just sew them all together into squares or rectangles and uh, as you can see I have a lot of sewing to do before I'm done because all of these are still left to sew so, you know, you just organize them, sew them together, and they're ready to be used. And like I've said, I think that as far as leftover fabrics go, mine are usually strips. So essentially, I just pair them all together. I try to make the colors make sense because I may just want to use them just as they are, or I may want to, you know, release a couple to use. 
Now, another thing that I'm actually going to start doing, I just remembered this the other day. Uh, do you remember how many quilt vlogs I have made with you guys? Just quilt vlogs, not entire projects. It's dozens, dozens and dozens of them. So why not? And I have so many here and they are, you know, the cutest things. They are so gorgeous, so beautiful. Uh, you know, there's tons of them. So why don't I just sew them all together and make a huge panel that may very well turn into a sample quilt in the future, you know? And this way I have them all organized. They're not just loose in a bag. I just, oh, cute little heart. I just pair them all together, sew them all together and get myself, you know, a quilt top basically. If I were to sew, all the quilt blocks I have made with you guys just in 2023, I guarantee I would have a huge quilt top to make. So I'll probably do that. And I will love doing it because that sounds like fun. I'm excited, guys. Last but not least, there's something I like to do to sew together the teeny tiny itty bitty scraps of leftover fabric, which is this. <laughs> now, this isn't straight, okay? The corners do not match. That's not what I'm doing here, okay? What I'm doing here is essentially, on one hand, I am training my precision as far as, um, you know, these are really tiny seams. And at the same time, you know, if I keep doing it, and I have a lot, a really a lot, a lot of squares to sew, I will get a big enough panel to make me a mug rug maybe, or a pot holder, or anything that's really tiny. And I mean, look at this. Imagine a mug rug made of teeny tiny squares, all quilted. Ah, oh, yeah, this one is going to work too. It's going to be gorgeous. I'm telling you guys, organizing my scrap pile like this has truly been a game changer. Now guys, I'm going to trim my panel, but I need to warn you that my cameraman is probably going to drop the camera and do it himself because apparently he does it better than me. Just a warning. They did not pay me enough for this, let me tell you. So brilliant, wasn't that? So much better than me. Are we happy now? Yeah, it's per... Okay, okay. Get away from my fabric. Now imagine that if once uh, a week, once a month, you sit down with a scrap pile and you chop, you know, all your pieces into squares of your the size you want and just sew on these panels. Soon enough, you will have enough panels to make a huge quilt just like that and your scrap pile will be completely empty. I mean, this for me is without a doubt the best way not only to organize my scrap piles because, you know, I can come here and just release how many squares I want or a whole block. Whatever I want to do, I can just look at them all straight up, just look at them and see what I want. But I'm also making something that, you know, further down the line, I can just sew together and make a quilt. I hope that you have a lot of fun doing this. Give it a try. I think you will love it. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.